personal experience, I do have a friend that we never agree to anything, but we're still friends. But we usually talk it out and, you know, we apply reasoning and reasons why we we think that way. So I will hear her out and then I would add on to like what she thought and how I agreed with her. And then she would do the same with me and then we would also talk about our disagreements and we would just kind of work it out in the end and just be like, okay, yes, I understand that you feel that way and we just understand each other in the end. One thing that's important to understand too is that no one knows everything. And every time you talk to someone, you might learn something new. So it's always worth starting that conversation. And even though you might feel like you're so steadfast in that issue, that person might bring up a topic that you never really thought about it from that angle before. And it's always interesting to think about it like that. Now, going along with what you're saying, I found like you really have to look for your common ground and you can really learn new things. What I've like learned through having a lot of these conversations with my friends and people who disagree with me is just because you think you're 100% right doesn't mean the other person is necessarily 100% wrong. You can, there are gray areas in politics and in government, and just because you're right doesn't mean someone's wrong and vice versa. There's so many different interpretations and none is 100% right and perfect and none are 100% terrible and evil. So you all, when you're having these conversations or arguments, whatever you wanna call it, you have to try and find your common ground. What else, like you have to go into the conversations with an open mind. You can't have the mindset of I am right, they are wrong, that's all that's gonna happen because then nobody, nobody's gonna change their opinion and your conversation will just be a waste of time. What you can do is go into the conversation thinking, well, I'm pretty sure I'm right, I'm pretty sure they're wrong, but let me see where this conversation takes us and maybe your opinion will even be changed or maybe their opinion will be changed. And one more thing I would say is a lot of people go into the conversation like try, with, the, with the one intention of like trying to convince the other person and make them know that they're wrong. But when you go into these conversations, there's a very little chance that anyone's gonna change their mind. So what I like to do is just like try and plant a seed, you know, of, of maybe your opinion and right away they might not relent and change their opinion, but it just might be a thought or a seed and maybe it'll grow in, into another opinion or another way of thinking about the issue. I mean, ultimately it's just, you don't even have to always find common ground when you don't, like when you're having two opposing um, opinions. Because at the end of the day, it's like everyone has their own perspective. Like I, I cannot walk through life the same way as someone else. So when I go into like debates or like I don't really agree with the person says, I try to, I used to have a bad habit of I listened to respond and I didn't listen to understand. So now I try to like step outside of myself and like, listen and of course I go into like the over analyzing like well, what's their background like what they do you know like I kind of think like you know like, let me try to piece together why they think the way they think because for something that's like logical thinking for me being from Chicago you know on the south side may not be the same logical thing logical way of thinking for someone who grew up on a farm you know like we just aren't gonna think the same we aren't gonna think like certain policies matter over the other so it's just like you have to not be so selfish with your thoughts, you know, and just like really open up and be willing to take in what someone has to say, whether you agree with it or not, because ultimately it's going to help shape your, the way you think overall. Yeah, like one of the main causes of having like a fight or an argument is a misunderstanding. So it really helps me to listen out the other person's argument and repeat it back to them and be like, okay, so you think this and you repeat back their argument and say, Am I understanding you correctly? Like, did I get everything? And then they say, yes. And then you say, all right, so here's what I think. And then you're able to make sure that you understand each other and you didn't miss anything in their argument and that you just, you're able to walk away with understanding instead of anger. 